the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we come together to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us prepare ourselves for this moment of grace, for this encounter with the loving Father. And let us ask God for his forgiveness. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and your goodness set us free from the bounds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am saved from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surge round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The courts of the nether world enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and cried out to my God. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord.
The Jews pick up rocks to stand Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works for my Father. For which of these are you trying to stun me? The Jews answered him, We are not stunning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, It is not written in your law, I said, You are gods. If it is called them gods, to whom the word of God came, and a scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemies because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped, escaped from the power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, my brothers and sisters. First of all, I would like to let you know that we are praying for all of you. And we are so united to this beautiful gift that we have received from God, the Holy Eucharist. In today's Gospel, we just heard that Jesus is being accused of blasphemy by the Jewish people, the leaders, because Jesus claimed to be the Son of God, and Jesus said that He is God. And for that reason, they wanted to kill Him. So Jesus told them, Believe in the works I do, then you will know that the Father is in me. We know, my brothers and sisters, that Jesus has done many, many, many beautiful miracles for his brothers and sisters in his time. And today he continues doing those miracles for us. And by the way, this is the most beautiful miracle that Jesus make for each one of us, giving up again his self for the salvation of all of us. And he's here with us in his body and in his blood. But the question is, who is Jesus for us? These brothers and sisters of these people that were accusing him, the leaders of the Jews, they tried to kill him. They were blind. They didn't believe in him. And they didn't want to see in, in Jesus, even though all the miracles that he was performing before them, they didn't believe in him. And that was, that's why Jesus is telling them, don't believe in my words, but believe in the works that I'm doing as a sign of the presence of the Father. Jesus, my brothers and sisters, we may respond to this question, who is Jesus for us? And the answer could be, from you and from me, Jesus is the Son of God. We may say that. Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus is the Savior. Jesus is the Redeemer. Jesus is the perfect image of the Father. Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us. And Jesus 
is the one sent by the Father. And we may say all those things about Jesus, but my brothers and sisters, do we truly believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Do we really believe that God is in Him and that Jesus is God in our midst? So let us ask the Father for guidance and let us ask the Holy Spirit as well to send the light upon us, especially in these times, to see the presence of God in one another. Jesus is our head and we are the body of Christ. We are the mystical body of Christ, his church. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, for one another and be united through this holy Eucharist. May God bless us and protect us today and every single day of our lives. Amen. My brothers and sisters, trust in the Lord of hosts. Let us gather our needs and petitions and offer them to the Father. For all ministers in the church, may the Lord bless them in their demonstration of Christ's love through good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all government leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them in their work and encourage them in policies that recognize the dignity of the human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who struggle to meet their daily needs. May God strengthen them with the spirit of fortitude and perseverance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for each one of you in your homes for St. Matthew's community and for the whole world, especially for this faith community. May Christ enter our hearts more deeply as we prepare to, as we prepare to enter into Holy Week. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, for our beloved dead. May the Lord grant them eternal rest in in the kingdom of heaven, where he lives forever, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray today, my brothers and sisters, especially for the eternal repose of Helen Bandikai, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our In the silence of your hearts, let us present to our Heavenly Father your needs and intentions that you may hold right there. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. Heavenly Father, you are the source of all that is good. With confidence, we ask you to look favorably on the prayer we bring to you in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love, I have called you, and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for Him. He will bring you His light and His peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love i have called you and you are mine i have loved you with an everlasting love 
I have called you, and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his joy and his hope. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may accept unto God, the Almighty Father. May the and Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all of his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever faithfully at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift by your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them, bless the Dufo, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and intervening into his passion, he took bread, then giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, I will celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that helps us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Alexander our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Matthew, Blessed Concepcion, Cabrera de Armida, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our well, family, my brothers and sisters, let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gratefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, and we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. On you say, we all is mundi. Misere nobis. All you say, quit all is pecata mundi. Misere nobis. All you say, quit all is pecata mundi. Dora nobis pace. My brothers and sisters, here with us is Jesus, the Son of God, God with us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My brothers and sisters, I would like to invite you to receive spiritual communion with us. I will going to receive the body and blood of Christ so that we be united in the body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may always drive far from us all that will do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. May go in peace to love and serve the Lord in one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.